Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Heroes of a Broken Land, a dungeon-crawling, city-building, land-exploring game that actually looks old, but it is not. It is now version 1.10, and as you see down here, this game is relatively new. We'll start at Impossible and an enormous sized world. The story is quick told. There was a world with crystal in the middle. The mages were powerful enough to connect to the crystal, therefore become gods and immortal, and then they blew the crystal straight to hell. With the entire world, of course. And now, well, they feel sorry and they decided we must put that thing back together again, and we choose one of these mages to lead the people. Actually, that is us in that case. And, well, it mainly says which bonus we bring to the team. We will not be there in person, and I take the experience bonus. Now comes the first a very, very nice thing about this game. You have to choose four heroes, and we only can reroll eight times in total for all of the heroes. There are fighters, thieves, mages, and priests. Later on there will be more classes, later on there will be more races, but we start with four heroes. We can have much, much more later on. And they can even train them to become gladiators, adventurers, bishops, and like wizardry. Think of wizardry as seven to, well, five to eight, basically. A little bit like that. As a mage can cast spells, a fighter can do so also if he finds the book. And if they have the same intelligence, they'll be casting exactly the same spells with exactly the same power level. So there is no reason in my eyes to take a mage or a priest unless you want to start with a healer rather than simply buying one after one or two turns or buy the fighter the ability to heal. So I would rather take this except for the endurance 6. I cannot accept that. That is simply too bad because a fighter with only 22 hit points is really, really bad. On the other hand, we only have... Oh, well, we risk it. That is miserable. That is not that bad, and we're going to take that, even though the strength is low. We must think we have only six rerolls. So, strength is your attack power, endurance is your life points, agility is defense, attack, evade, and disarm at a certain level. Speed, well, when we have our turn, intelligence, how strong our spell is, and willpower, how much magic points we have. Special abilities of fighters, for example, bash, also require magic points. So don't be short on magic points with every character. Group skills also use magic points. So, uh, six endurance is absolutely unacceptable. Actually, that is all very unacceptable. Eight, nine, nine, eight, nine. But, well, we take that because we have only two rerolls left. We will take that because we have only two rerolls left. And uh, agility six, that is really, really bad. But it is not that vital. It's only a small bonus to everything, so we will live with that and we will forget about the two rolls that we have. So this is the world we start in. As you can see with Impossible, we have no money and no crystals. That here is our city. We have one, two, three, four, five, six places where we can build buildings. Think before you build. You cannot tear down the buildings unless you wait for monsters to tear them down for you. And each of these buildings can be upgraded, but you cannot downgrade it. So think what you need to build. I personally think you need um, Adventurer's Guild for skills that you can learn there. You need a weaponsmith. You will need a mage tower. And I think it will be wise to have an enchanter. And of course you need an arena to train to the class level of uh, gladiator later on. There are a lot of interesting things of the game. So let's first crawl into a dungeon. Oh. How many actions? We have two points. If we go here, we will not be able... Oh, well, it's... Yeah, now we have 236 gold, but we cannot buy anything for that. But perhaps we can equip that leather thing to get a little bit more armor class. Plus 10 defense. 
wonderful. Um, when we look at our capital, which is this one here, we have two heroes, but we don't have the money to buy them. So we go to next turn, and then we go into the dungeon. I was hoping that there was enough money to buy anything. This is the dungeon. As you can see, it is isometric. So very important is that this is turn-based. So for example, this rats here, they're facing not in our direction at the moment. So if we attack them, if we moved up there and they're not turning in our direction, we will um, flank them. That will give us a little bonus in attacking them, but we could have greater if we attack them from behind. So uh, that, by the way, is a trap. So we look for the character with the highest agility, which I think... Who is the one with the high agility? You are the one with the high agility, actually. Okay, so you will try to disarm the trap, and we did. This is only one. We have flanked it, so it's delayed. In theory. That was one rat. And as you can... Oh, now we can get those guys from behind. Wonderful. We get a free action. This rats here... They have their different levels. Some of them are a little bit bigger than the others. That means they're level 2 or level 3. As you can see, our left group can only attack the left monster. Our right group can only attack the right monster. If we're not fast enough, this happens. So we should try to kill them before they can act. These rats do not do much damage, but enough as we're playing an impossible. Okay, that was the wrong button. Always look around the corner by this, because then you can see if there is something. And you should always try to get your enemy from behind. Oh, just as I said it, to get your enemy from behind so that you get a bonus move. As you can see, we're getting unnecessarily banged up here. And that is a secret. <gasps> Ooh. A door is unlocked. Oh, there is something. There is something coming. I think it's... Uh, it's a bat. I'm pretty sure it's a bat. And bats are bad because they're powerful. They're stronger than you might think. And I hope that I can get it from behind somehow. Ah, well. Now we did get them just in front of us. Wonderful. Now you will see what that bat can do. See, 11 damage. That's a hell of a lot. This even did 14 or 13 damage. Woohoo! Well, we get a level up. That means we get 5 points to distribute and we get fully healed, which is extremely important. Now, when you can see we put up agility, all those skills here will go up. Attack will go up, defense will go up, and evade will go up by one point actually. If we put a point in strength, as you can see, our attack will increase. So we put our points in agility. As you can see, two points agility equals one attack point. So I go with spears. You can say what you want. Some going for axes because they do more critical. I personally like spears because spear is a weapon. Oh, should look at this. What chance do we have? Spears do a lot of damage. And furthermore, spears um, reduce the enemy's defense, which means you do more damage. And that is great. So, this guy is showing us his behind, which is excellent. 
That means we might get a bonus attack. No, we did not, but who cares? Uh, no, I want to get them from behind, so we actually we go around them. Hopefully they're not turning in the meantime. And then we hit them right from behind. Like this. Enemy flanked. Well, it could be worse. I think that is level 1 and that is level... Oh, they're both level 1. And we got bitten. Wonderful. When you killed enough creatures of a certain kind, then you get a bonus that you can see um, what their life points are. That is a trap, by the way. That trap can shimmer monsters. Now, this guy here, where is the one with the height? He has agility 21, so we take him to get the trap disarmed. Excellent. That is another trap. Who? But the door is closed. That is not good. Don't we? We're not. Um... Oh shit, that is a beer. Beers are bad for business, I tell you. Those guys are strong and mean and. Yeah, look at this. Totally unacceptable. You should always attack beers from behind first. Oh, and they can stun people like we can do with um, our bash ability that I didn't show you. And we try to get away from the mice. Oh, well, we could attack them now, then we get them flanking. That's better than nothing. Because I don't think they will turn their backs to us. Oh, this is gonna... This is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt. At least they look like level 1. Don't fear it. Death is not permanent here. We have potions that we can use. Now you ask me, Boris, how can a potion help um, use healing? Yeah, we're not going to use healing because we need our healing potions. And you might ask, Boris, what are you doing? I think, I hope I know what I'm doing. And now, oh, there is... There is a bat. I hate bats. <gasps> that is nice. Black gauntlets. We actually found something useful. Black gauntlets give defense plus fear and dark resistance. Yeah, well. Could be worse. Now, this is turning our way. That means... We should be able. I think that in a whoa, surprise attack. Yes, we get them from behind. Very important. You see that we're doing more damage to the uh, rat than to the bat. That is simply because the bat has a higher defense. When we cleared out all the monsters, we will get an information that we can leave the dungeon. So you will not be crawling around here forever just finding out how many monsters there are. Why is this thing still closed? That is strange. Let's have a look around. Yeah, the door is no open. I do not see any. Oh, I see something. A good, qu a good chest. Those are the best. Ah, well. This is actually healing. We drink that. Healing is great. And yes, you have a mini-map, in, in case you wanted. Okay, that is still okay. The mini-map tells me that there is a button I have not pushed yet. So, push the button. It is red. Where do I go? Okay. I'm a little bit... Is it here? Nope. Here. Door was unlocked. Let's get our ass in the teleporter. <laughs> Wonderful work, Boris. I think that thing here is cleared. 
and I think we have to go this way. Don't see anyone. Oh, now it just moves. It's just a mice, a rat. Good work. I'm getting overconfident. A Lord Spear now. That is great. Look at this. Plus 10 attack, plus 2 strength, um, endurance, agility, everything. And we get it. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Another chest, but only with gold. Oops. Let's see how much damage this new weapon can do. Uh, that was not that impressive. Well, that is not really impressive. I think we should do much more damage, actually. We are the ones getting damaged here. Oh, shit, and there is just another one. I'm getting unconcentrated. But it's, it's late. I think it's understandable, I hope, to a certain point. Uh, okay, I think we can call that clear. So the last monster must be to our right. And it's a mice! I'm not sure if it's the last, but I think it is. Nope. Another trap. Hey! The chances were excellent. Shirt is useless because it's, uh, well, the same we're wearing, I guess. Oh, for heaven's sake, that is bad. A beer and two mice. Well, what chance do we have? And he's standing behind. That means we cannot hit him in the beginning. We have to kill the things before we get through to him. If we're lucky, he starts rowing and therefore taking one of our guys down. Yes, like this, and we can hit him with the others. And we did it. And we find gold again. And there is another monster. I think it's a mice. Use healing potion. I know they all want healing potions. I have no healing potions to spare. We have to do with what we have. We do... 63 is 36 damage and they're still leaving okay this is a healing um a man a mana thing actually but we're not using mana i'm not bashing people i could it will stop them from doing thing and now as you see we cleared the dungeon so now there is no more monsters here only a big chest boots bucklers and gold gold a bracelet and gold and healing that is excellent because we keep our life points from this dungeon for the other dungeons so we can now go back to the world and yes we're happy that is an armor smith where we can buy armor we have a lot of money and the first money we should invest is to buy those guys they might not be good I think we cannot take a look at them before but we need more troops and that is, he's clumsy, that means mind spy agility, that's the reason his agility is so miserable. But we take him, welcome to the team, and this little lady, who is smart, intelligence plus art, eight, I should call her like my wife, and yeah, we make a fighter out of her too. So, as you can see now, we have a complete new party. Now, we could run around with this party entirely, but it is more wise to spread up. We should buy a weaponsmith. Not sure if we have enough money to buy anything useful. Or we should buy an adventurous guild to get healing, which I think will be much more nice. Uh, can we sell stuff? A bracelet plus 25 equip it no good weapon no good shirt we only have shirts nothing here we have boots that is better than anything else and a buckler 
could be worse. And I think that is all we have. Yeah, sadly, that is the end of the story for the moment. Okay, now I show you what you can do. Let's go in our town. And you go there, you go there, you go there. You go here and you go here. So he's alone now, or she, or whatever. And I tell her to go this way. Then I go back to my capital and say, I want to create a party and he should or she should be in it. Now, she has full movement and we can send her around looking for treasure. So guess what? We do the same again. Create a party. You can always create parties and put the people back together again. This is your your people. You can do as you like. So we will start creating parties now, as many as we have people, simply to explore the land quicker, to get information what we're up against, what is in their, in their close proximity. I think you can have about eight parties in total. Okay, you go down here. And of course we're searching for treasure chests. That's the basic idea. So, when we have found something, we will go back together again. So now we click next turn. And then we ride simply with every character in one direction just to find out what there is for us to find. So that is a dungeon. Two parties required. Risk impossible. Okay, that means not that th it is impossible, but for my party. We can buy stuff here, or we can sell the stuff we don't need. For example, this stuff. They're selling a brown hat. You look at our money. Oh, a cat red cape, defense evade, and a witch helmet that we cannot equip. And a priest blade. So we have no real reason to buy an armor smith at home. Well, that's good to know. And there are crystals lying around waiting for us to take. That is a hut. You can get our cottage. You can get quests there. But be careful. Sometimes you activate more than you can handle. And there is our first chest. Wonderful. So, get it. Ten crystals. That's not that much, but it's okay. It does not cost anything. Later on there will be monsters moving around. And that might be unhealthy for us. What have we here? Risk 10 impossible. Now perhaps I can show you something. Yeah, call me nuts, but we're going in here. Why are we going in here? Because loot. Do you see how much money we get out of this? If we move carefully, which I intend to do, we can get some money out of this without getting ourselves killed. Okay, the rest are traps, so we're leaving without doing anything more. We have we have made one thousand gold. Uh, we have made a hundred gold bonus. That's okay. Could be worse. Just look around. That's the idea. So who else can move? Yes, you cost it costs more movement points to move out over um, obstacles, of course. So this, for example, is the worst thing to move. Swamp. We have now a considerable amount of money, so we will buy an adventurer's guild. And I think, yeah, we will buy heal for the team. Do we have any more heroes to buy? No, not at the moment. More crystals. 
even more crystals next turn, which is nice. Nothing more here. What I find a little bit disturbing is the fact that there is no easy dungeon close. That might cost us. See that? Level 14 monster. We should not engage those. They will move around, yes. They will become a problem later, yes. But not now. We still have not found any dungeon that we can attack with our little team at this particular moment. And we're getting far and far away from home, which I find disturbing. This is level 8. I think we must go down. Okay, here's what we do. We will try that cottage. Perhaps that will help us to a quest that we can fulfill. The monsters will try to reach us sooner or later. And then it will get ugly, trust me. Uh, yeah, we will help. What level, what level is that? Level 3. That sh we should be able to handle that if we get our asses all back home. So here is the mission. Everyone home. Everyone home ASAP. Oh yes, that, that, that'll, that'll, take it. that'll take some time. What level is this? 11. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is there something? Level... Level what? Smart from Blake and Black... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Don't be greedy, Boris. Don't be greedy. Okay. <clears throat> Um, we have 10,000 gold, 10,000 gold, ladies and gentlemen. That means we can buy weapons. Oh, yes. And I think we have found a considerable amount of equipment. Uh, for example, Black Blade. Yes, wonderful. And for the axe, a small flamberg. Nice. I totally love it. Okay. You guy? Well, you will equip also a plate. Brawny plate. Isn't that totally insane? Excellent. Excellent. A better axe would be even more excellent, but I'm not complaining. A local farmer has a double cage of ancient tapestries. They're great historical ones and there's also of local pride. They also are quite valuable. Uh, we'll return them to the people because we're the good guys. We have now fame level one. I'm not even sure if that is such a good thing, but who cares, actually? We must get our asses home before all the monsters awake. And that will be soon. So. Move it. Move it. Uh, we could try to get our hands on the crystals on the way. Oh, and a treasure chest on the way. Move it. Move it. Move it. When the team comes together, we're safe. Well, not safe, but... New heroes at Goldfall. I don't think they're that useful, but... So... Everyone is moving home ASAP, please. Yes, you can go on sea. In fact, you didn't know that. 
and a Warhammer. Okay, a Warhammer, whatever that is good for. Um, they will reward, reward you if you can get rid of those beasts, okay? That is a level 2 pit. That is excellent. That is exactly what we need. The team comes together. And we might even have a chance. Thanks to that little accident with the cave that we run into. Five hundred golds. So, so back at home, we can already start. Um, disband, 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 disband. Create. You go there. You go there. You go there. You go there, and you go there. And you can see this guy already has a job. This who has none, we can give them one. And this guy here has a job. He's already a mage. So... You cannot move. So let's stop that. Uh, that we already have. And we return them to the people because we have enough money. And we have now fame level 2, which means we will get better heroes now. So... That reminds me on something. We buy those two. We make warriors out of them. They are void touch. That is extremely powerful. Look at this. Magic points plus 20. Strength plus 2. Agility plus 2. Look at this. This guy is just unbelievable. Great. He is wonderful and he's in the team. This one here is simple and good. We take him in the team. So you add up in the team, that's wonderful. You stay here. Um, you, what do we know about you? He, she's level one. So shall we do not even need her for the moment, I guess. She has no equipment whatsoever, so that is not the point. Um, he, they should start learning things now. So let's buy heal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Harden gives defense. That is agility and speed. And that is strength and endurance. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Resist is not that important. Training, attack, and defense. I think that's even better than buying weapons. One, two, three, four, five. 5 damage <coughs> perhaps if we sell the stuff uh, no it does not look that way okay it's not enough we simply don't have enough money but should be no problem you will equip the warhammer so and now I want you to use ah it's time to end the recording. I will learn here with everyone before I end the recording. Now, the idea is that anyone in the team can heal so that we can put our magic points to a certain use. And that everyone has greater stats thanks to the aerobic and the other skills that we're learning. I find that more useful than equipment itself, because you find equipment quite good, as you've seen. And yes, you have a global cage, you could say. So everything you have is accessible by everyone in your hero teams, no matter where they are. So we're nearly done. Training. The stats should be out of the roof within seconds. You can see that by the life, and he does not have enough. Okay, so uh, nope, nope, we're, we don't want to use heal. 
and we want to go here first and that will be our next goal to clear out that and you will see that in the next recording see you then bye